hides me. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty simple tutorial, you know. I just really like the way that this turned out. So, as you can see, I started out with 1500 by 500 high. As usual, that's normal Twitter. And then I made, I painted it black with a color fill. And I found any random picture, it doesn't really matter what I'm finding at the end. I set it to lighten for the blending mode. And I turned, I turned it all the way down for the opacity to, like, pretty low. And then this is my render right here. You can use any render that like works for you, but I really like this one because I got it from somebody, you know, who's really talented and you know, he helps me out with some stuff and I help him in. I help him out, you know. So this is the render. It's pretty neat, but I'm going to make it green with color correction in the end, actually. This is going to look a little crazy right now, but I painted it white as you can see. I just put it there. I painted it um, and I set it to soft light. It looks a little crazy. Once I had color correction, it'll get a lot better. Pretty much I just painted over white over the character, made a clipping mask. If you know Photoshop, you'll know how to do that. It's very easy. You just right click, select clipping mask, and then I set the blending mode to soft light, as you can see right there. And it's looking pretty good so far. And just a warning right now, it's about to look really whack. Oh, there it is. It looks really weird and really terrible. But. What I did is pretty much painted red down, and don't worry with the color correction that I have. I just dragged over a pack and put down one that it makes it kind of green and very contrasty, and then I added some white light over it. You can see I set it to normal. In the opacity, 35%. Pretty simple. Simple stuff, regular stuff. You can see in my last uh, video how I did that. It's very simple. Or like a few videos before that, I think. The last tutorial, just check that one out. And um, then I added more light. And this one's more condensed in the middle and not so spread out, so it gives it more variation in where the light comes from, if that makes any sense at all. It probably, I hope it does. But then, after that, I'm going to add my color correction, after I add my contrast there. Yeah, there you go. See, it really makes so much difference. If you get the color correction right, it will make the thing so much, so much better. And you hear my settings that I'm looking at right now. It's from the intensity pack, and then I just made the hue and saturation green, because I keep doing red and blue ones, and I figured green looks kind of nice, it gives me some old, you know, 2011 YouTube, kind of like razor, mouse, and keyboard kind of vibes, if that makes any sense. But so far, I really liked the way that it turned out. And, uh, yeah. Here, oh yeah, here are all the blending modes. If you really want to copy them down, it'll take you forever. Um, or you could just get a pack and just, any pack will do and just like find out which blending mode, or which uh, color correction little packet, what is it called, the folder works best, but I would recommend just finding one, you can get some for free, you can get some for cheap, you know, just try it out, see how it goes, and uh, yeah, you can see it really makes all the difference and it's not hard to do, make sure you get one, check them out. By the way, I might make my own pack, I have had requests to do that in the past, from Twitter, yeah, from both Twitter and YouTube, I figure I might do that, I might put a price tag on it, just cause I'm a broke college student, well not broke, but, you know, college is expensive, and, you know, you gotta make money somehow, you know, I'm sorry, <laughs> you can find a free pack, but I'm gonna try and make a really good pack, and monetize it, cause, you know, YouTube, everything gets demonetized, and we got this right here. So anyway, you can see these lightning bolts I'm putting through right now. These are all from PAX. You can see right there how quickly I added it. Most PAX have lightning like this. Like, it's not something crazy you have to go out and find. I just want to say, most PAX have something similar to this. It's really easy. I just kind of took the same image, actually, the same little lightning bolt, and I made it some larger, some smaller, cropped in some different areas, just so it gave it some variation. And you can see any repetition at all. Maybe you can see a tiny bit if you really, really notice. But anyway, I'm getting a green brush, and I just set the, um, I'm just drawing on some highlights of where, you know, it would glow. And then I'm setting the blending mode to vivid light, and then I'm going to turn down the opacity. You can see right there, I set it to vivid light, and then I turn down the opacity a lot. But this is kind of a, something that you wouldn't really notice unless you uh, looked for it. But it's kind of sub a subliminal thing of turning on and off there. It just makes it more, I guess, gl glowy is the right word. But anyway, vivid light, turn the opacity down, make sure it's the right color, and that'll make it pop a lot. I recommend it. 
right here I put in my text, it's C4D, it's just a Lightroom, pretty simple. If you want me to go over how to do that, I went over Lightrooms in my last video, you know, so I'm going to blend it in a similar way. Also in the future, I will go over different types of text, I'm going to do like that. Um, there's a really popular Chrome text that a lot of people are using, and I've sort of getting, I've been getting a lot better at it, and I want to be able to show you guys once I can do it very well. So if I have like a good example, I get really good at it, I'll show it to you guys. You know, I don't want to give you some crappy content that looks really bad. So you know, I'm going to take a bit more time to get better at it, and I'll have some videos with Chrome text for you guys, and it's a, there's cops in the background. It's, <laughs> it's surprisingly simple, and you're going to really like the way it looks. It's so simple, and it looks so much better than the plain text I'm doing right now. Not, not that the plain text is bad. But uh, let me get back to it. Um, I put a uh, photo filter over that. I actually put it over everything. And I made sure it was green and then turned it all the way up if you want to see exactly what I did. Just go back in the video, check it out. It's not super hard to do, just photo filter. And then I made it green, turned it all the way up. And then uh, I'm just gonna find a random image, like that one, it's like an oil spill. It looks cool under the color correction. I'm gonna put it there and then hold Alt and then make it a layer mask over my text, then I clicked overlay, or not overlay, it was either overlay or soft light, I clicked either of those um, for the blending mode, and then I also went to filter, blur, motion blur, and then just blurred it so it looks kind of fracted from side to side, it gives it a little motion, kind of a nice pattern there, and then I'll actually erase some of the parts of the image that is laid over on the text. Make sure you rasterize the layer, right click rasterize the layer before you do any of that or else you won't be able to edit it. If you don't know what rasterizing is, it's pretty much, rasterizing is making the layer that you're working on directly editable. So without rasterizing it, you wouldn't be able to change it at all other than blending modes or transforming it to make it larger, smaller, flipping it horizontally, etc. stuff like that. Anyway, so now I'm just taking a normal big white brush. Well, I think it's, yeah, no, it's a green brush. And I'm just gonna paint a little bit behind the text just to give it a little bit of flow. And um, I believe I'm gonna turn the opacity down a little bit and just kind of leave the blending mode regular. And then after that, I will take another brush, go over the top of the text. Same thing I'm doing here, just random splotches. And then um, it'll be on top of the text. And then I'll set the blending mode to color dodge. Turn the opacity down a lot, maybe to like 20 or 30 percent. And then it will look really nice once you do that. But make sure your blending mode is on color dodge and you turn the opacity down a lot of that layer. And it'll look really, really good. My apologies if I'm going through this a little fast. I do have a lot slower tutorial if you do want. Uh, like a 20 minute one. I just want to see, I want to put out one fast one and one slow one, pretty much a similar thing. But anyway, I took a photo of a grenade and then I set it, I went filter, motion blur, and then I blurred it so it looked like that. So that's what the thing is on the right, it's a grenade flying. Then I got my fish and I just set it to normal, or no, I set it to luminosity. And then I put a clipping mask by clicking new layer and then right click and then clipping mask. And then I put I painted some shadows on the fish layer itself. So you can see I got my brush there. I painted a, I'm gonna get my white brush and then I'm gonna paint that there. And as you can see, it looks really ugly. So I went to my blending mode there and I switch it to soft light or overlay, soft light. Yeah, that's the one I went to. And as you can see, it makes it look a lot better. And I'm gonna do the same thing only with black on the bottom just to give it a little more dimension and it just kind of looks cut off, but if you just kind of blend it out on the bottom there like that, I don't even think I blended it. It looks so much better like that. It looks a lot more dynamic. And I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to add, I think, a P90 in the corner, and I'm going to use that same technique with the new layer and then clipping mask, put in the white on the top, changing the blending mode to soft light again, and then on the bottom, just like, um, just darken it a little bit, and it will look so much better. I also put in... What do I put in? Yeah, I put in that, which is a half pie, and then I go to filter, blur, and then this time Gaussian blur. So it's just going to be like a little blur, as you can see. If, if you were watching a movie and there was something that was far away, it would just look blurred. And not like the grenade, just like, um, just a more even blur, if that makes any sense. 
sense. You're gonna see me do it right here, Gaussian blur. I'm just gonna experiment with it. Yeah, like that looks good, just really quick. And the blending already looks fun in that, so we don't even have to change it. Then there's the P90 I talked about adding in, using that same technique that I did with the fish once I get it in, and uh, you'll watch me do it. <laughs> technique that I did with the fish and the P90 with just the overlay of the soft light on top and the dark on the bottom. But then after I do that, I'm going to do an extra step on these two. I'm going to go to filter, Gaussian blur, and then blur it. And then I'm going to also turn the opacity down a little bit. So in the end, it's just like a little thing to keep up space. You know, it looks pretty nice. And uh, I realized uh, 11 minutes into recording all of this, I don't really want to do it again. So I'm gonna try and, you know, hide music over it and all that. On my loud PlayStation 4, I've had it for so long as we're playing, so if you hear a little word in the background, that's what that is. So anyway, that's pretty much gonna be it. I think that this turned out pretty good, and it's, it's very simple to do. I don't know if you even understand what I'm saying, but I tried to make it um, as understandable as possible. And uh, anyway, if you enjoyed this, let me know what else you wanna see in the future. I'm gonna start doing more different how do I explain it? More different types of videos, like I'm going to show how to do different YouTuber thumbnail styles and stuff like that, and not just the same Twitter headers over and over again. Even though I love doing this, and I will definitely keep doing this, probably like every other video, because it is, it's so fun, and there's so many different fun things you can do. But anyway, I'll stop talking now. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. This has been JM, and I'm out. Bye-bye.